Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday, people. How are y'all doing? Today we are doing the Decoupage Plastic Wrap Hat. And we are going to be using a napkin. We're going to be using some fabric and some paper. I recently did a DIY video where I took some TikTok hacks that I had seen and I tried them to show you guys whether or not they really worked or, you know, just in general, what happens so you didn't have to try them. If they work, great. Take them home, apply it to whatever works for you. This was actually the first hack I did was to take some cling wrap and a napkin. This is a napkin and a Walmart. This is a little Walmart wood piece. And we just ironed it on here. I was so flipping impressed with this. Now we use a little plastic wrap. Okay. This is Walmart's great value brand. I do not discriminate against, you know what I mean, name brands. I have absolutely no problem using generics if I'm saving some money, especially with the cost of eggs. Have y'all seen that? Let me get me started. Anyway, if you are new to my tutorials and you're just coming in and you're like, Brandy, what the hell's going on? These are just a way for me to try things, share tips and tricks, go into detail over things, and I slow it down. I talk as I film, so it's kind of live, but it's not live because I'm not like live doing it, <laughs> but I talk filming as I go and talk through the process as I go instead of the fancy schmancy editing that you see in my typical DIY videos that I do on Fridays. To my surprise, I had a ton of questions about this, and in my mind, I'm like, I don't know all the ins and outs of this. This was my first time trying this. And then I had people asking if it would work on fabric, if it would work on paper. I'm like, I don't know, but we could do a tutorial Tuesday on it. So this way you guys can see me doing all of this. I can share my information that I am familiar with about decoupage and sealers and how I would go about the process along with showing you guys the results of this. I had someone make the comment that they had did this and it had peeled up after they had did it. Now, I also had people asking about the Cricut iron, if that mattered. Let me tell you something. No disrespect, Cricut, but this is an iron, y'all. It's an iron. It is nothing special or fancy. They sell little baby irons like this at Walmart for $10. I will pop it up here. Okay, I have one laying around here somewhere. I don't know. But it is the same thing. There is nothing special about this other than it's like $49.99. Okay? So do not hurt yourself run into the store and grabbing you a cheap little baby iron, okay? That first thing's first. Any iron is going to get this job done. Just like if we were doing the iron on method with the Mod Podge, we don't discriminate against irons. We use whatever is budget friendly. Some of us don't want to spend 40. I did not want to spend what I spent on this. I don't even know what this costs now. I bought this so long ago. I don't even know what it costs now. Maybe it's cheaper. Maybe. <laughs> I think it might have been 49 Don't start me lying. Cricket's going to come get me. I love you, Cricket. Just don't like to weed. I had someone say that after some time that this had peeled off. So I thought to myself, I got y'all on camera. Oh, we're going to try and peel it off. So th this doesn't, I know, it's so, pr I, let me tell y'all something. Look at this. I have decoupaged. And I have ironed so many things with Mod Podge. And I love Mod Podge, but this, this is flipping flawless. I cannot even stress to you how gorgeous this is. So let's see if I can get this to peel off like the paper would melt. Um, I don't know. That's not really... I know those of you that are going to come at me in the comments like, Brandy, how could you destroy? I know I had, I had a long think about it before I started doing this video. And I was like, I really love this little piece. And I added this one here. I know that's cute. It really is. I love this napkin. Also, if you guys are like Brandy, where you get the napkins, I sell these on my website. <laughs> so I do sell a decoupage bundle, decoupage kits, and I sell napkin bundles and usually I have a supply of them on my website. 
So I try to sell different ones so you get a little assortment and I use a lot of them in my videos. Um, but for the most part, this is just, it is not easy to come off of here. So I'm pretty confident in that right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to seal over this while we're ironing this one because I had other people asking if we sealed it if it would come up. Now I'm a decorative artist and I actually decoupage furniture and all kinds of things. Thrift flips, I do all that stuff. So I was, I am a little skeptical if I put some Mod Podge on here, if this is going to act up. So before we get to this, let's go ahead and put a little bit of sealer on here. And I'm just going to do it. We'll do it down here in this area. We'll put it down here and see what this looks like compared to this. So this way you all will have a better understanding of whether or not the sealer is going to affect the plastic and peel up after we put that on. And we're going to make sure that you guys have access to everything that I'm doing in this video so you can go purchase it. And if you want to retest it at home to be like Brandy, you know, it didn't work for me. I used the same exact thing as you had. This came from Walmart. You can use any napkin really, but the extra papery ones, like I try not to use napkins that are too papery, that are kind of nice. You know what I mean? This one is a nice little napkin and we're using the Dollar Tree matte mod podge and i'm just going to squirt it on here i'm not even going to be particular about it like i usually would be if i was doing a diy we're just gonna i'm gonna smear it on here i don't even ew why why is there a clump in there come on all right we're just gonna kind of smear this on here and i'm gonna leave it on here heavy i'm not even gonna i'm gonna pop it around the edges too and look at that that napkin's not even welting up. All right, well, we're going to leave this alone, and we're going to let this sit over to the side. I'll leave it on the camera so you guys can see I ain't mucking with it. We'll leave it right there. Is that in the way? Okay, and we're going to turn our iron on here, and then I am going to quickly cut all of this down to size off camera to save you guys time. When I'm trying different things and I'm sharing them with you guys, I always like to try and keep things as controlled as I can. So to do that, we're going to use the same exact tag for every single project. So these came from Walmart and we have three of them. We're going to use one obviously for napkin, paper, and fabric. As far as the cling wrap or plastic wrap goes, you can use as much or as little of this as you want in terms of the excess around each section. But since I know that this stuff does melt up pretty quickly, I'm going to just cut it down as close as I can and we can shave the rest off with a piece of sandpaper. So don't stress that. I, the only thing I didn't cut down was the napkin. And that's because the napkin will easily shave off the fabric. I know will not. And the paper might not shave as well as I would like it to around the edges. So I did, sorry, <laughs> in the camera. So I did shave that down. But we're going to do each one of these individually. And then when we're done, you guys can let me know what you think. I'll let you know my opinion on them. And we will also check out the one that we put a sealer on. So what I did in the hack, and I'm going to get the camera closer because I want you guys to really, really see this. Okay, so I'm going to scoot this down with y'all. Mind my table because I'm in between DIY videos and it is a hot flipping mess here. Okay, so this is super, super flat. So make sure that there's no wrinkles or bubbles. We are also not putting any Mod Podge underneath of that. There is nothing on that wood. It is just the plastic wrap. We're going to go ahead and start with the fabric. Make sure your iron is nice and hot and put your piece on here exactly like you want it. Because once you start ironing, it is done. The damage is done, people. You can't go back and move it. So just kind of center it and take a second here. I hope this works. All right, so everything is nice and flat. I am happy with the positioning. And now we are going to just take our 
iron. And here we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's already melting on the bottom of my iron. I should have known. I should have known. I should have cut more off. Hold on a minute. I'm scared. Make a mess. I'm gonna move it. I guess it don't matter at this point. It's already kind of one there. Learn from my mistakes if you leave extra. <laughs> if you leave extra plastic wrap, it's going to melt your iron. There went my... This is why you don't want to use a Cricut iron. <laughs> Especially being a noob, okay? This is what happens when you're a noob. All right. But that's the whole fun of doing tutorials. One, you're either like really kind of educating people on something that you know where you're showing them through your experience and you're helping them so they don't make the same mistakes and they save money or whatever. You know what I mean? And part of the struggle of all of this is just not knowing. There we go. Oh, part of the, <laughs> sorry, I lost my train of thought. Part of the struggle of like DIYing anything is really just experience with what you're doing. So once you get the hang of something, you're just going to be able to do it better. So I love whenever I get the hang of things and I can really go into detail and help you guys be able to do it as well. And with this, we're learning together. We're going to find out today. We're going to find out today, my friends. All right. So that piece is actually already ironed on there. So let's do this again. All right. Boom. Oh, my. Oh, my. And I'm really just kind of moving it around. I'm not really holding it in any particular spot. Just kind of moving it. Going around. Just trying to get it on here first. Oh, oh! <laughs> Ooh. Look at them crusty bits. They're all yellow. Mm, is that from the napkin? Might be from my sunflowers. All right. Oh. <laughs> you guys are like, Brandy, supposed to be showing us how to do that. Listen, we all got to learn somehow. All right, so I'm just, at this point, I'm just going to keep this one here and ironing around for about a minute. I'm going to speed this up for you guys. So this way you don't have to sit here for a minute while I'm just kind of circling our tag. All right, we have this ironed on here. You can see the little crispy <laughs> or little melted pieces around here. I'm just going to let this set over to the side. Okay, we're going to let this sit on the side. We're going to bring in our next tag. And we're going to do the paper one. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing here. Let's get us some cling wrap going on one and cut it on down. I got it all cut up. At least as cut up as I'm going to give a shit about and then we're gonna what the hell really why why you gotta play with me oh my goodness what is happening there it is okay i hate that all right all right let's smooth that one out smooth that one out remember there's nothing on our wood we want to measure this up first Make sure it's on here, right? And then we're going to iron this sucker down. There we go. And I'm going to say that I'm ironing both of, well, all of these for about two minutes. Okay. In case people were wondering how long did I iron them down, I... I think I iron them both for <laughs> Wes is getting ready to come through the door. So you guys are going to hear him talking probably in the background. So please mind me as I try to get through this tutorial with you guys while I'm doing this. Um, I 
you're going to see this going on. And then you're going to see me fast forward for a minute because we're going to do about a minute of ironing after I get the initial stick on here. That one is on there. And now our last one is going to be our napkin. I love this napkin. It's so flipping pretty. How do we want this on the tag, though? We want it like that? I might be using this tag. Mm, we just want the whole thing like that. Is that what we want? What are you guys saying in there? <laughs> I need good advice. All right, we're just going to put it like that. Here is our last one. I still need to do our sanding, but I'm going to let this dry for a minute. And now let's take a look at the one that we put our sealer on. I will tell you now it has a different feel to it. I don't know. Can we still peel this up? Yeah, I don't. Oh, look at that. Huh. It seems that once I put the sealer on it, yeah, once I put the sealer on it, it like wet the napkin and detached it. Look at that peel off like that. Hmm. Yeah, maybe this is not a good idea to use and put sealer with it. Because it's not doing it up here. It is stuck on there. That's interesting. So at first glance, really pretty, right? And it's on here. You know, you can see it's on here. But is it going to peel? Oh. Oh my goodness. That didn't work at all with fabric. It didn't work at all. That came right off so easy. Oh no. Yep, that came right off. These are completely cooled, by the way. They're not hot at all. So I don't want you to think, you know what I mean? So here we go with this one. Sorry, my video stopped. I had uh, too much shit on there. Oh. This is not. This didn't. St oh my gosh, it's stuck to the paper. Look at that. It didn't stick to the wood. It stuck to the paper. Okay, well, some of it is stuck on there. Maybe I didn't iron that part long enough. No. It still can pull right off. I don't like that at all. So paper and fabric is a no-go. Now let me, um, because I want to give this a fair go. Let me get a piece of sandpaper. Hold on. This is just an 80 grit. So we're just going to. All right. Here we go. Yeah, it is still not coming up with the napkin. <laughs> I'm not going to try and bend my nails anymore. But let's, um, we'll bring, gosh, it's so pretty. Look at the napkin. I love it. Okay. Yeah, it's on here too, just like the other one. So it definitely works with the napkin. At the end of the day, I really like this with the napkin. I do not know that I would use this with a napkin on any project that I was going to sell or on a furniture piece. But for a DIY project around the home that I'm going to be keeping, absolutely, it is quick, easy, efficient, and you do not get a lot of wrinkles. Now, I didn't care for it at all on the fabric or on the paper, but, you know, to each their own with the results. You guys seen what mine were. Let me know in the comments below if you've had a different experience with this on those project or products. 
or if you also got a different result once you put a sealer over using this with a napkin, I'd love to hear about it. Also, I kind of like to use my comments as like an information center for people so they can check out down there if anybody has more experience to help them on their DIY journey. So by all means, please put that information down there. As always, thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you learned something. And if you didn't, you at least just enjoyed hanging out with me today. Until next time, people.